Whew. Today we are going to turn this eater into a smart eater. And it's not the smart eater that you are thinking of that is going to grab you a glass of water or squeeze some oranges or make a toast. No, we are going to take it to the next level, something more interesting, where I will be able to turn it on and off anywhere in the world just using my smartphone. More importantly, in my opinion, we will be able to schedule it to turn on and off at specific times depending on the day of the week so that when we get home the heater is already heating and the room or my living room is already with a comfort zone really heated so that I can relax on the couch. Regarding the energy consumption which is something that I really enjoy on any device we will be able to track the heater's energy consumption helping us to save money while having some comfort at home. To do this we just need a smart plug such as this one right over here. I will leave two links down below. One for the individually or probably for the duo pack which is always cheaper. So just have in mind that buying two will be more or less half of the price depending on when you are watching this video. In terms of the setup it's really easy. This is the third generation. They have improved and improved. So at this moment we just need to put this on our socket. Open the Shelly app which is available for Android and iOS and the app will immediately detect the device via Bluetooth. So on the first generation that we have seen here this didn't happen. We had to add it via Wi-Fi and a few steps. Right now it's just open the app it will detect the device instantaneously which is really awesome. After that we just need a few configurations, basic configurations like the name, where we are putting it on our home and so on. Now, once it's configured, we can start controlling the ether. It's easy as this. You can finish the video and go home and get your plug. And the most basic function is turning it on and off either through the app or directly on the plug if we require. The more exciting feature to me is the ability to schedule the plug, to turn it on and off, selecting the specific time and the specific days of the week, which will allow me to arrive home. And I know exactly that I did turn it on one or two hours before. And when I go to bed, it already did turn itself off which is always cool. Having in mind that I can always override with the app what I've shelled. So if it's on at this moment and if I decide to turn it off I can do so and vice versa. Now in terms of energy consumption we will be able to monitor how much electricity our heater uses in a daily basis, hourly, monthly or yearly. And we can also integrate with Home Assistant which we have done here a lot of times. Probably it's time to approach date one of those videos. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. But having that in mind, when we get a Shelly plug, we are not only getting a great product, one of the best in the market in my opinion of course, but we are also getting a lot on the app and a lot of features which I'm not going to cover on this particular video, but probably you are watching some of the things that I did record on the app so that you can have a better idea that it's not only turning on and off, scheduling or even power consumption. There is a lot more that we can do. Actually, a few details that are really interesting and this is just a bonus. It lights a green LED when it's not spending too much electricity and when it goes a bit higher it will go to yellow and then orange and then lastly red if it's going to the red line which is 2500 watts. This is something that we need to pay attention for. We need to check out the instructions of our device. Usually here on the button it says that it will go up to 1500 watts or 2000. Here we will be able to go up to 2500 watts and if we need more for example for a water heater depending on the size which we have 
have covered here as well and I will try to leave some links down below. There is another version that will go up to 3500 if I'm not mistaken so I will leave a link down below and you can check out the specifications and the prices for that model as well. I personally believe that oil heaters are not efficient at all and as you can see I don't use this one it's full of dust and webs and things like that. It was right over there on a basement but I also believe that we should do the best with what we have. I always say that the best camera is the one that we have and we can start recording now. Don't wait for tomorrow just to have a better camera. So don't wait for tomorrow to have a better heater. We should plan and invest if possible to get a better efficient way of heating our home and of cooling our home. But until then we need to find ways to make the best out of them. And I believe that this is one of those that will make me save some money and at the same time find a balance between the power consumption and the comfort that we have at all. That being said, hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.